In this video, we're gonna be covering the top five most confusing mortgage terms. There's so many words and acronyms that get thrown around during a transaction when you're on the phone with somebody. I know it because I'm guilty of it sometimes myself, but I wanted to point out five specific terms that I come across almost daily with our customers that we have to clarify and explain. I'm Sean Uihara, sales manager at Loan Depot, helping you finance your homes all across America. Whether you're a first time home buyer, investor, looking to refinance or buy your second home, we've got you covered in all 50 states. Please subscribe and don't forget to check the description box for more great mortgage tips to help you with your purchase or refinance. Number one, APR and interest rate. So many customers think that the APR is what determines their monthly mortgage payment and the interest rate. The APR is actually the cost of credit. It includes some of the finance charges that go into the mortgage. That's why when you actually compare the interest rate and the APR, the APR is always gonna be slightly higher than the interest rate. The interest rate is what a lender will lock in and that's what's gonna determine your monthly mortgage payment. Make sure that when you're shopping for a mortgage, you ask the right question because there's been many times that I've talked to customers that are shopping me based on the APR, not the interest rate. So you wanna compare apples to apples and make sure that you're asking the right question and you're actually comparing the right thing to help you understand what's the best mortgage for yourself. Number two, pre-qual versus pre-approval. This gets thrown around loosely every day in the mortgage industry. Some people want a pre-qual, some people want a pre-approval letter. At the end of the day, you wanna make sure that your lender is doing the right thing and pulling your credit and verifying all of your information. Now a pre-qual typically means you're just doing stuff over the phone and it's verbal, nothing's verified. A pre-approval means you've actually gone through the process of providing paperwork to your lender. My team at Loan Depot, we only do pre-approvals because the last thing I'd wanna do is go over numbers with you over the phone, not verify anything, only to have your own loan fall apart. In fact, I've done videos about this. So make sure to check out this video because I've even talked about how deals have fallen apart that we've tried to save of how the pre-qual was done incorrectly that costed the client thousands of dollars. Number three, cash to close and closing costs. Your cash to close includes your down payment and closing costs and everything that's gonna be needed in order to fund your loan. Again, many clients get this confused with their closing costs. Some don't realize that you have to have your down payment plus closing costs to purchase your home. Some people think it's just a down payment. So make sure that when you're talking to your lender, you understand your cash to close. You wanna remember that your down payment is just as important as the closing costs because without the two, you're not gonna have enough money especially if you're on a budget in order to close and purchase on your home. Number four, DTI or debt to income ratio. I feel like so many clients out there are shopping around, they're reading online, trying to get as much information as possible, and they're trying to run numbers themselves. Now, as much as you wanna run numbers yourself, just to make sure that you're in the right place to purchase, I actually think the best way to go about this is talking to a lender, because you might be calculating your DTI incorrectly, which means you might be holding yourself back from buying a house. When a lender calculates your debt to income ratio, all we're looking at is the minimum payments on your credit report. For example, if you've got a credit card with a $3,000 balance, let's say that monthly payment's only 50 bucks, but you might be paying three, $400 a month on that credit card, you might be taking that $400 and calculating that to figure out what your DTI is. When at the end of the day, that's wrong. We would only go off of what's reported on the credit report. So if it's 30 bucks, it's 30 bucks. This is one mistake that I see a lot of people make, especially when they're trying to figure out numbers at home and they don't wanna to talk to a lender yet. My advice, let us help you understand where you are in the mortgage process and what exactly you can qualify for. I love talking to people up front just to make sure that even if they can't qualify today, we're setting them up on a game plan so that way, whether it's three months, six months, or even a year, we know when that time frame comes, they should be able to buy a house as long as they followed our instruction. Number five, escrow account. The escrow account is super important because it's part of your monthly payment. Sometimes when you're calculating your monthly payment, again, when you're trying to run numbers by yourself and not talk to a lender, you might be only calculating your principal and interest. Sometimes people forget to include the taxes and insurance. That's why your escrow account is super important that you understand that that part is part of the monthly payment. And another reason why you wanna factor this in is because you wanna calculate the right amount of property taxes and insurance for the mortgage. 
I just talked to a client the other day. He's looking at purchasing a home in Texas. Little did he know that the property taxes in Texas are really expensive. His figures were about a third of what the actual property taxes were in order for him to calculate and what he could qualify for. When I went over the actual numbers with him, we were completely off. He was shocked. He could not believe how expensive the property taxes were out there in Texas. So that is another reason why communication is super important and why I always suggest talking to a lender upfront, making sure that you get pre-approved and you know your numbers before you start shopping. And don't forget, make sure to check out this playlist where I go into more detail about more mortgage tips to help you with your purchase and refinance. My name is Sean Uehara. I'm your finance expert, helping you with your mortgages all across America. Whether you're looking to purchase or refi, purchase your first home, or if you're an investor looking to acquire more homes for your real estate portfolio, we got you covered all across America. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.